Hey guys, Framer just introduced 3D animations, transitions, skewing animations inside Framer and it's super amazing to look at. I have some examples in the background but today let's try and make our own 3D animations in Framer so that you know how to do the exact effect. We start off with a basic Framer project. Inside this project, I'm going to start with a frame. As you can see, we're just putting inside a random area right here. So for this one, I'm going to bring out a card and this could be any card and I'm going to make sure that the background of this is, of course, transparent. I've given it a nice shadow and it kind of looks like a material card here. And I can always turn this into a layout. So this is now a base for all our amazing 3D effects that we're going to create. I'm going to right click on the frame and click on create component and this will turn it into a 3D component. Now for our first effect, we will want to rotate this on a 3D axis. Okay. So if I click on this frame, I will have an option at the bottom called hover or pressed. I'm going to click on hover of course and then select hover out. So in the first card or in this first frame, I'm going to go to the options panel here and click on the transforms option. Under transforms option, I get a lot of cool things, including origin, perspective, depth, rotate, skew. Here, of course, I want to click on rotate. I'll move my face from here. Inside this transform option, we now have a 3D option as well. So under this, I can now do a 3D rotation. But in this case, we want to rotate it when we hover. I'm going to go to this hover card, click on it, I'll then click here, add any value to add a 3D rotation to it. In this case, I want it to flip 180 degrees. Any 2D rotations you can also do here, but for now, of course, we're just going to leave it. Now, if I go to the top here and I play this just to preview it for a second, as you can see, a nice smooth 3D hover happen. Now, if I want to create a card which does a skewing animation where it seems as if it's lying on a 3D surface and it then lifts up, I can keep the 3D rotate as it is and I can then go to this plus icon and click on skew. This will add a base skew for us. Now, to create a perfect skew, we will need multiple elements, a scale, rotate, and a skew. Rather than giving it a general value, we are going to click on these little arrows and just drag out like this. In this case, we want it to skew like this on the left side or maybe on the right side, whichever you like. In this case, I also want the scale to be less. So again, dragging in and out till the card is decent size. And in this case, now we'll have to rotate on the X and Y axis. If I'm doing a rotation on the X axis, it's basically sleeping or it's lying down. If you keep on adjusting just like this, you will get a nice little skew. Now from this lying down position, I want it to lift up. In this case, again, I'm going to click on variant 2. I'm going to scroll down and click on hover. So here again, going to transform, we are going to click on this plus icon. Now, if I want this to lift up, I will then have to change the origin. I'll click on the plus icon and then bring up origin here. If I select origin, it comes out to 50% and 50%. Again, if I start dragging out from here, as you can see, it starts moving around. I can do the same with Y and as you can see, it's flying up and down. It's a slight adjustment, say, 40% here and to 40% here. As you can see, it's now flying towards the top. I'll then play this variant two right here. And as you can see, every time I'm hovering over this, in this case, it is going down. If you do the opposite, of course, it will go up. Now, what if I want this card to reveal something at the back? Now that is also an easy task to do. I'm going to duplicate this card once again, click on the variant and then hover. In this case, I will make sure that the origin is around 10 or 20 percent something which is less on the x axis and then i'll make this rotate on the y axis by i don't know 40 or 50 degrees as you can see it's actually moving towards the left but it's actually revealing something from the left in this case if i play this once again as you can see it's sort of this reveal animation which whenever the mouse comes in, it kind of reveals something behind. Now, what if I wanted to add these effects to any of those framer elements or components that there already are? Well, it works with everything. For example, you have a nice little carousel playing a bunch of images. Right here, I have two nice images that I've imported. And if I add a 3D transform by going into transforms from here, and then I kind of give this like a nice 3D rotate. I can, I will then be able to also add a perspective to it. So it will give it a nice 3D depth effect like this. So if now I play this one out, it will then work like a normal component, but with this nice 
3D effect. The framework community has created a bunch of other cool effects, a lot of practical things that you can use on your website portfolios, etc. I'll have all these amazing things that I'm showing in the background with the remix link. So you can just copy and paste it into your own projects. I'll see you every week just like this. Until next time, take care. God bless.